Hey guys, it's Freemason91, and I'm bringing you a video about H3H H3 reductions. I'm, I'm late with this. I'm sure you guys have heard this before. I was watching the No video, but they won a lawsuit for fair use. And I'm not going to go into all the details. If you want to watch the No video, I'll leave it in the link below. I'll leave it in the description below. But they won a fair use trial, basically, when they were using part of someone else's comedy show to, like, comment on it. And apparently, and he sued them, it lasted a year and a half. But the court ruled basically that it was fair use and that it was good. And now this is this is actually big for all YouTubers because let's face it, when it comes to fair use, YouTube lately has gotten extremely bad with it. Gives the person accusing you the benefit of the doubt. I know this because I've actually been claimed like people have claimed they own the material. Telltale Games actually one time claimed me, but they, they took it down before I even got home. I remember I was like, I saw two emails from Telltale Games. One was them claiming it, the next one was them taking it down. But... Recently, when I was making my A New Frontier review, that video got claimed by a company that really didn't know nothing. I didn't even know who that company was, but that company definitely didn't own the rights they claimed they owned. And God's blessing, I contested it, and it didn't go. They just backed down, it seemed like. I don't know what happened. Maybe they made a mistake, but whatever. But the thing is that YouTube seems to give the benefit to the people accusing. Like, basically, if you contest it, and if you... If they come back at you and go like, oh, no, 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 this is, this is our video or something like that, and then you contest it again, you're at risk for a strike. You're basically at risk to be struck, it seems like, without even them proving that the video is theirs. So to me, it's just like, it's, this win is great because this win just shows more fair use. And remember, unless this is appealed and overturned, like, like I've said before, I graduated from law school, it's known as good law. And good law is a precedent. Basically means that other judges will be able to just be like, oh, well, I'm going to follow the ruling in this case, you know? Precedent. When judges, when judges say they are bound by precedent. When a judge makes a ruling, the judge in the lower court is bound by precedent. So this is really a ruling that's going to help, I think, a lot of YouTubers. Of course, YouTube still needs to change its copyright thing because YouTube, you can't give the benefit to the people accusing to the point where we basically have to bow to their demands or risk getting a strike. I think it's, it's got to be proven, in my opinion, before you get a strike. But anyway, what do you guys think about this news? You guys think it was great? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.